Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing some longer-term technical analysis on Bitcoin with a pattern that has a chance of playing out over the next 6 to 12 months that would see Bitcoin first pull back about 40% down to around $6,000 to $7,000, and then following that, go into a massive bull market that would return us to $20,000 within the next 12 months. Guys, full shout out to Nicholas Merton over at Data Dash. I was going to make a video about this anyway, but I watched his video today and he talked about this pattern, so credit where credit's due. I was reminded to make this video by him. I've been planning it for a while, but here we go. Guys, you're going to get a lot of good value out of today's video and a fresh perspective on the market if you haven't seen Nick's video, which I would encourage you to go watch, by the way. I've been watching Nicholas Merton since before I had a YouTube channel, so shout out to Data Dash. Anyway, guys, before we dive on into it, I do want to mention one thing, and that would be our sponsor for today's video, the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Guys, there are two days left on the July 2020 coupon code, and if you would like to join the academy that's going to teach you all of the foundational concepts that you need to know for learning, trading, and profiting in cryptocurrency markets, I would highly encourage you checking us out at the link in the description down below. There are 36 videos and over 12 hours of high-quality content in the academy, and our 1,970 students seem to be loving it so far, so if you'd like to join the link is in the description down below. Anyway, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Let me tell you something. I have never been excited to get less likes than I asked for in a video, but I'm very glad yesterday's video did not get 1,300 likes, because if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I said if we hit 1,300 likes, I'll do a backflip. No, I won't, because I'll probably kill myself, but I will try if we hit 1,300 likes. So go ahead, hit that like button. Please don't get to 13... Crap, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for not getting us to 1,300 likes. I appreciate that. Anyway, guys, let's jump onto the chart. Guys, compared to 2016 and 17, the last few years on Bitcoin have been relatively uneventful. As you guys can see, we've been in this massive consolidation pattern ever since 2018 started. And ever since then, guys, Bitcoin has been setting consecutive lower highs and higher lows in our formation right here. And this is the pattern that we are talking about. When Bitcoin hit $20,000 over the next year, it would pull back 84%. Following that, we went into a period of sustained growth, and Bitcoin rallied 340%. Following that, though, Bitcoin would pull back about 72%, or if you take it by candle bodies, about 60%. So our first major pullback that lasted a year was about an 82% pullback. Our second one was about a 57% pullback, around 60%. And as you can see right now, guys, if Bitcoin were to drop where it is now, all the way down here to our uptrending level of support, we'd be pulling back anywhere between 30 and 40%, depending on how far we fall below our support level. That would bring Bitcoin all the way down to $6,400. From there, though, Bitcoin would more than likely, like we're talking overwhelmingly likely, bounce here as a result of things like the 200 daily simple moving average and all of the VPVR support that we have built into this zone right here. So after Bitcoin bounced, it would likely rally up here to this downtrending level of resistance. We would have a major resistance around $8,000. Guys, Bitcoin can obviously sustain trading price action at $9,000 to $11,000. So we would almost certainly break this downtrend. And from there, we would enter a bull market that would likely return us to $20,000. That is the theory. Now, you're going to get my opinion on this because I'm going to show you why this is actually a very sound theory. And then I'm going to show you why I wholeheartedly disagree with it. Now, let's do some technical analysis on what this actually means for Bitcoin because there are reasons to believe this is going to happen and there are most certainly reasons to believe that it won't. So we're going to be talking about both of those. Talking about the bearish argument for Bitcoin pulling back here first is actually relatively easy. Guys, you know that I am in a long-term bullish camp. I think Bitcoin is going back to $20,000. I think Bitcoin will be doing that within the next 12 to 24 months. However, the way that it gets there is not so sure. There is a strong possibility that Bitcoin comes down here, falls below the 50 weekly simple moving average, and it starts breaking support. Because of that fact and the other levels of support and resistance that we're seeing on shorter term time frames, I would say a zone pretty similar to what Nick said over in his video of around $8,500 to $8,800 is where Bitcoin needs to stay above lest we actually fulfill this movement and this theory that we've been talking about. So it's actually more of a question of does Bitcoin break this box right here or not? Because if it doesn't, Bitcoin will trade sideways. It will eventually make it much easier for Bitcoin to break our downtrend and will break to the upside without having to do this massive pullback. And by the way, guys, we've been talking about a potential for this. I showed you just a couple of videos ago about how it's possible that Bitcoin has a big pullback and then a big bounce because of all the support, which we'll be talking about in a second. So since we've simplified our question to more or less does Bitcoin break below this box, because if it does, then Bitcoin's entering a new short-term downtrend and there's a pretty strong chance that we pull back back down here. Does Bitcoin break this box? That's the question we've more or less been analyzing for the last couple of weeks. 
Guys, you do have to realize that Bitcoin is in a consolidation pattern on the shorter term time frames here, right there. Bitcoin is expected to have low volatility. Bitcoin is expected to have low volume. But with all of that said, the fact that Bitcoin does have low volume, low volatility, low retail investor interest, low interest over our Google search trends, you have to take all of that as a bearish argument. Now, if Bitcoin does break bullish here, then much of that is likely to return quickly and we won't need to come down and even test this uptrend. But if Bitcoin breaks out of this consolidation pattern right here, you can bet yourself that we're pulling back to this box and that's where our test is going to happen. Here's my concern, guys. When Bitcoin breaks out, volatility is naturally going to come back. With the volatility is going to come volume because people understand that when volatility is back, there is now money to be made in the market finally, and that volume will come back as well. Both of those are inherently bullish things. Volatility and volume tend to be bullish factors because it means there are more people in the market, which means more money is in the market. That's not always the case, but in this case, I think that will play out in the way I just said. So if Bitcoin breaks to the downside here, we're actually going to see a lot of bullishness come into the market for one reason, and that's because... One, Bitcoin has massive support below it right here. Two, we're going to see a massive amount of increased volume and volatility, meaning that we're probably going to see increased interest from the outside world coming in and people are going to be investing in Bitcoin. And three, because Bitcoin is going to be at a lower price level and it's going to be easier for Bitcoin to enter an uptrend if you're already at a lower price level. So first of all, there is good reason to believe that Bitcoin could just straight up break bullish out of this consolidation pattern and head north. If Bitcoin does break to the downside, there is a good chance that Bitcoin could actually bounce at this zone of support and bounce there and head north. But if Bitcoin doesn't do either, of those and Bitcoin does fall through both of them, that's where this play comes in. Bitcoin pulling back to between $6,000 and $6,500 over the next few months. And let me be the first to tell you guys, if this happens, if Bitcoin pulls back to $6,000, that is one of the best things that could happen to Bitcoin right now. Here's why. One, we just saw Bitcoin pull back to $4,000 to $6,000 back in March. How many of you actually bought that dip? A lot of you probably missed it. But if Bitcoin goes back there, you're going to have a very recent memory of Bitcoin having a massive correction and a massive rally. And you're going to have more confidence in your option to buy Bitcoin. It means that we get a better entry price for a lot of our longer term positions. Furthermore, if Bitcoin does pull back there, you're likely to see a massive rally because Bitcoin over the last 12 months has proven that it's stable between nine and $11,000. That means the underlying intrinsic value has to be at least that, which means we are going to most certainly bounce from $6,000 unless something catastrophic happens to the fundamentals, which is one, unable to be foreseen, and two, unlikely. If Bitcoin does pull back here, I am going to be very happy about that. It's going to be a boring, annoying few months to get down here. Don't get me wrong for a second, but when we get down here, eventually we're going to bounce and we're going to rally. And what that means is that we're going to hit this downtrend. And if we hit this downtrend around $8,500, well, guys, we're trading at $9,000 sideways with no volatility, no volume. Clearly, Bitcoin can trade at that level. We're going to easily break this. And the biggest downtrend in the history of Bitcoin will be shattered. And what was holding us back from going into a bull market will be taken over. And on a side note, you know what that means? It means that that breakout above that downtrend would probably be happening around the end of this year, early next year, which is also, coincidentally, probably when we're going to start seeing vaccines for COVID. So maybe 2021 will be the spring to 2020's winter. Maybe so. So guys, there's a lot that we've unpacked in this video. I hope you got some good value out of it, but I want to bring one criticism against this theory of Bitcoin pulling back to $6,000. And that is one simple technical indicator, the VPVR. Now, I want to be very clear on something. If you look at the last two and a half years of price history on Bitcoin, the VPVR maximum is exactly where we would be expecting Bitcoin to bounce, around $6,500. That, by the way, is also exactly where the 200 weekly simple moving average would be if Bitcoin were to pull back there. Bitcoin has never in its history fallen below the 200 weekly SMA. Every time it has come close, that's a weird looking chart, it has bounced. This is the third time in history it's done it, this would be the fourth. There is a lot of support at $6,500, which indicates that perhaps we would go back there and test it. But also keep in mind just how much support is in between where we are now and $6,500. Guys, this is a seriously thick thick block of VPVR support right here. There are a ton of moving averages holding us up like the 50, the 100, and the 200 out on the weekly, let alone many of the other things showing up on the daily chart right now. Bitcoin would have a lot of support holding it up, so it's possible that even if we do start pulling to the downside, we bounce to the 100 moving average or something similar in a similar fashion to what we did in December of 19. At the end of the day, guys, this is the takeaway from this video. Whether Bitcoin breaks to the upside now in rallies or if Bitcoin pulls back 
40% and rallies from there, there is a bull market coming to Bitcoin. The fundamentals are clear on that. The technicals are arguing about how Bitcoin's going to do it, as they always do, but the fundamentals are very clear. A bull market is coming to Bitcoin and it is coming relatively soon. We have been in sideways price action for the last two and a half years during the entire existence of this channel. That will come to a conclusion as the fundamentals of Bitcoin have been getting exponentially stronger over the last several years. Now, with that said, I do want to make my position on this very clear. I am still, until proven otherwise, bullish on Bitcoin for the short term. That is because of the consolidation pattern we are in. The millisecond that we break bearish out of it, if that happens, if we break bearish out of the consolidation pattern that we've been in for the last two months or so, if we break bearish out of that, I am almost certainly going to be throwing my hat in with the camp of Bitcoin pulling back to around $6,500. And I'll show you why. This will be my final point. When Bitcoin is in this consolidation pattern, it is bullish because the trend is your friend until it ends. If we're in an uptrend and we're in a consolidation pattern following, then we're likely to break to the upside. But if we break to the downside, take a look at where the 20 EMA is. It's right below us. If we break bearish out of this pattern, we're almost certainly going to fall down to and fall below the 20 weekly exponential moving average. And as those of you in CT2A will know, the 20 EMA is a very important technical indicator. If we break bearish out of this pattern, that alone is a good reason to be very bearish on Bitcoin. But on top of that, it would mean that we're likely going to have a break of the 20 weekly EMA, which if you study the history of the chart, almost always leads to a bear market or at least a massive downtrend. So again, I want to make my position on the market very clear because I think some people are a little confused and that's my own fault for not making it more clear. My position on Bitcoin is that until it breaks bearish, if it breaks bearish out of our two to three month consolidation pattern, I am bullish on Bitcoin until that happens. If, however, that does happen, I am bearish on Bitcoin and I will be expecting Bitcoin to pull back somewhere between the $6,500 to $7,500 range over the next three months. And I don't really say that to cover my own tail in case it happens. The reason I'm saying that is because I think a lot of people are getting the wrong message when I'm talking about the bullish things that are going on on Bitcoin right now. A lot of people, I think, are thinking that Bitcoin is remarkably bullish over the next couple of weeks. And while that is most certainly possible, while the technicals actually say that there's a decent chance that that happens because of the pennant we're in, that is not for certain. I think the long-term outlook on Bitcoin is almost written in stone. But as far as what Bitcoin is doing for the next few months... It's up in the air. So guys, understand, when I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, I'm very bullish on the long term. I'm very bullish on the underlying intrinsic value. I'm, I'm very bullish on the future. But the short term can take any path it wants to get there. And it most certainly will. Believe me, you can't control Bitcoin. So guys, I hope you did get some good value out of this video. Thank you for not making me have to do a backflip because I'm pretty sure I'd be doing a backflip straight into an ambulance if I tried. <laughs> But like I said, guys, that's going to wrap it for this video. Before I go, though, I do want to mention one thing, and that would be the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Guys, we are moving at warp speed in developing and building out this company, and I'm very excited for it because we are working on a ton of things in the background to bring you guys better content, and CT2A is what makes that possible. At the time of recording this video, there are 1,965 students enrolled in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, and they tell me every single day in the YouTube comments, on the Discord server, in my Twitter, in my email, how much they love the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy and how much they've learned from it, how useful it has been in guiding them to understanding technical analysis, market analysis, and the ability to actually profit by trading in these markets. Guys, we have a full 14-day money-back refund guarantee, no questions asked, and there's a reason that that almost never gets utilized. If you could snap your fingers back and get all of your money back, but basically no one does... That tells you something. All you have to do is shoot us an email and you're going to be, have your money refunded to you if that was what you would like. But guys, we have a refund rate of right around 1%. Most marketers will tell you, oh, never say what your refund rate is. Even 1% sounds really bad. The customer's going to think, oh, people don't like your course. I'm proud of that. You know why I'm proud of that? Because that means 99% of the people that go through our class could snap their fingers, shoot me an email, spend two minutes on their keyboard, get all of their money back for this class, and 99% of them don't. What does that tell you? That tells you that it's a good product and that tells you that people know that and that tells you that people are getting value out of it. So if you'd like to learn about technical analysis, if you'd like to take the next step in learning these markets, I highly encourage you to join with the link in the description down below. Use the July 2020 coupon code at checkout and you'll get $40 off. Guys, technical analysis is not an easy thing to learn. It is an easy thing to do once you understand it, but you're going to have to go through a few years of learning, or in this case, less than a few years of learning to get there. It is a very complex art, and it is something that you do want to be taught. Believe me, I taught myself all of this, and it took a long, long, long time. CT2A was designed to cut down on that learning curve for you so that you could actually get started profiting a lot quicker than if you were trying to teach yourself all of this. But anyway, guys, that's enough of that. Before I go, I do really just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Look, we just passed 45,000 subscribers. 
the other day, and that's just, guys, that's insane. Look, I'm 19. I started this YouTube channel when I was 17 years old. We hit 20, we hit 10,000 subscribers before I turned 18. And everybody in the in the Discord server that we started, which is over two years old now, which I can't believe, everybody in the Discord server, I would ask them every once in a while, how old do you think I am? And they would all say, 30, 35, and I'm like 17. And I'm like, you're wrong. I remember one time someone joined the Discord server and they were bragging. They were just bragging to everybody about how they were 17 and they were making money in crypto and no one knew how old I was yet. I hadn't done the face reveal. This is back in um, June of 2018. They were bragging about how they were 17 years old and how they are making money in crypto and I'm sitting there and I own the server and I'm 17 and no one knew it. It was so funny. I will never forget that. But guys, the reason I'm telling you that story is because I just love the community that we built. I love the connections I have with a lot of you. I know a lot of you guys by name, especially you guys over in the first cohort. A lot of you commenters I've seen down there in like every, like RTCG, RTC Manga, I believe. I may be butchering that name, but you've been in the comment section for a long time. You comment on like every video. I love seeing familiar faces down there. And it's really cool, guys, because July 31st in about two weeks marks three years since I got into cryptocurrency, and it's incredible what three years have, has done to my life. Three years ago, I was a train wreck, and now we've got our passion, we've got our future, we've got everything. We, we understand where we're going, and I'm very excited about it, and I want to thank you guys for being along for the journey for that. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching. As always, once again... And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.